ever wondered what made the 19th century tick and what secrets it held? The 19th century, a time of significant change, was a period that witnessed the transformation of societies around the world. It was the era of the Industrial Revolution, the rise of nationalism, and the expansion of empires. But beneath the historical milestones, the century was also marked by many intriguing scandals. During this time, societal norms and values were evolving. The gap between the rich and the poor was widening, leading to disparities that played out in the public sphere. Victorian morality, with its emphasis on public virtue and private vice, was the order of the day, creating a facade of respectability that often hid a very different reality. As the century progressed, so did the demand for news. The rise of the press brought these scandals into the public eye, giving the wider population a glimpse into the lives of the rich and powerful. It was a time when the personal became public, and the public became captivated by the personal. The 19th century was also a time of major events. The American Civil War, the abolitionist movement, and the fight for women's suffrage are just a few. These events not only shaped the century, but also set the stage for the scandals that were to come. In the midst of these societal changes and historical events, scandals emerged that shocked the public. From political corruption to forbidden romances, these scandals were as varied as they were sensational. They provided a stark contrast to the propriety of Victorian society and revealed the intrigues and indiscretions of the time. Now that we've set the stage, let us delve into some of the most scandalous events of the 19th century. Imagine discovering a diamond mine and then realizing it was all a hoax. This was the shocking reality of the Great Diamond Hoax of 1872, a scandal that glittered with greed and gullibility. The two main culprits, Philip Arnold and John Slack, two cunning men with a deceitful plan. Arnold and Slack were not diamond miners, but they convincingly played the part. They purchased a bag of uncut diamonds and presented them as samples from a secret diamond field they had allegedly discovered. The allure of quick riches was too tempting for investors to resist. With their pockets filled with the investors' money, the duo set out to develop their diamond field. The site was located in a remote part of Colorado. To keep their scam under wraps, Arnold and Slack went to great lengths, including sprinkling the field with more purchased diamonds. When an expert geologist was finally brought in to validate the find, he was amazed by the sheer number of precious stones just lying around, not realizing he was part of an elaborate hoax. Everything seemed to be going smoothly for Arnold and Slack. They had convinced everyone of their diamond field's authenticity. However, their house of cards was about to tumble down. The United States Geological Survey decided to conduct their own investigation. Clarence King, a well-respected geologist, was put in charge. Upon his arrival at the site, King quickly realized something was amiss. His suspicions were confirmed when he found diamonds and rubies in close proximity, a geological impossibility. King's discovery exposed the great diamond hoax, causing a scandal that sent shockwaves through the investment world. As for Arnold and Slack, they managed to escape with most of their ill-gotten gains. The scandal was a harsh lesson in greed and gullibility, a reminder that all that glitters is not always gold, or in this case, diamonds. A scandal that shook the California gold rush. The Great Diamond Hoax truly was a gem of a scandal. Picture this, a wrongful conviction, national uproar, and a fight for justice. This is the story of the Dreyfus Affair, a scandal that rocked France from 1894 to 1906. At the heart of this controversy was Alfred Dreyfus, a Jewish French army officer, who found himself wrongfully convicted for treason. Dreyfus was accused of passing military secrets to the German embassy in Paris, a crime he vehemently denied. However, his protestations fell on deaf ears. A court-martial found him guilty, and he was sentenced to life imprisonment on the Devil's Island, a penal colony off the coast of French Guiana. This conviction was not without its critics. Emile Zola, a prominent author, rallied to Dreyfus's defense, penning the open letter Jacques, in which he accused the French army of anti-Semitism and judicial errors. This letter, published in a leading newspaper, sparked national debate and divided France into two camps, the Dreyfusards, who believed in Dreyfus's innocence, and the anti-Dreyfusards, who were convinced of his guilt. As the case gained traction, it became apparent that the media and public opinion played significant roles in the scandal. Newspapers, pamphlets and posters swayed public sentiment, turning the Dreyfus affair into a national obsession. 
The scandal highlighted the power of the press and the influence of public opinion, revealing how these forces could shape the course of justice. After a decade-long struggle, the truth emerged. The real culprit, French Army Major Ferdinand Walsin Esterhazy, was identified, and Dreyfus was exonerated. His conviction was overturned in 1906, but the aftermath of the scandal left a lasting impact on French society and politics. The Dreyfus affair serves as a potent reminder of how prejudice and misinformation can lead to grave injustices. It also underscores the crucial role of a free press and an informed public in upholding justice. The Dreyfus Affair, a tale of injustice and divisiveness that gripped a nation. A scandal involving a male brothel and high-ranking patrons. Shocking for Victorian England, wouldn't you say? Now let's delve into the tale of the Cleveland Street Scandal in 1889, a controversy that sent ripples through the upper echelons of British society. In the heart of London, on a seemingly ordinary street, a secret was brewing that would soon shock the nation. The Cleveland Street Brothel, a clandestine establishment, catered to an exclusive clientele of aristocrats and high-ranking officials. But this wasn't just any brothel, it was a male brothel, a concept that was profoundly taboo in Victorian society. When the police discovered the brothel, it wasn't the mere existence of the establishment that caused a stir. Rather, it was the clientele list that really shook the nation's foundations. This list included names from the uppermost ranks of British society, even hinting at a connection to the royal family. As this revelation came to light, efforts to cover up the scandal were swift and determined. The powers that be went to great lengths to protect the reputations of those involved. They manipulated the legal system, bribed witnesses and silenced the press. But despite their best efforts, word of the scandal managed to leak, causing public outrage and demanding accountability. The scandal shone a spotlight on societal attitudes towards homosexuality during this period. Homosexuality was not just frowned upon in Victorian England, it was illegal. The scandal exposed the hypocrisy of a society that publicly condemned homosexuality, while privately, some of its most prestigious members engaged in it. This led to a heated debate about the law, morality, and the very fabric of Victorian society. The Cleveland Street scandal was more than a high society drama. It was a pivotal moment in British history that challenged societal norms and questioned the integrity of the ruling class. It was a scandal that, for a brief moment, peeled back the curtain on the secretive and often hypocritical world of Victorian morality. And so ends our journey into the Cleveland Street scandal, a revelation that rocked the very foundations of Victorian morality. Scandals have a way of revealing the true nature of a society, don't they? As we wrap up our scandalous journey through the 19th century, let's take a moment to reflect on the stories we've shared. We began with the Great Diamond Hoax of 1872, an audacious ruse that dazzled the American public and exposed the greed of the era's wealthy elite. This scandal was reflective of the speculative fever that gripped the nation during the California Gold Rush, and it left a lasting impression on American history. Today, it serves as a reminder of the consequences of unchecked ambition and the dangers of deceit. Then we delved into the Dreyfus Affair, a judicial scandal that divided France from the late 19th to the early 20th century. The wrongful conviction of Alfred Dreyfus, a Jewish French army officer, for treason sparked a political and social crisis that underscored the deep-seated anti-Semitism of the time. The scandal has since come to symbolize the struggle for justice and the fight against intolerance, themes that continue to resonate in our societies today. Our journey then took us to London's Cleveland Street scandal of 1889, a high-profile case that revealed the hidden world of male prostitution in Victorian England. The scandal shook the British establishment and challenged the societal norms of the period, leading to a renewed debate on homosexuality and morality. From diamond hoaxes to wrongful convictions and societal taboos, the 19th century was indeed a hotbed of scandal. Each of these events not only reflects the societal norms of their time, but also had a profound impact on the course of history. They serve as stark reminders that our past, however scandalous, shapes our present and informs our future. As we close this chapter, we can't help but wonder what scandals the future might hold. Until then, stay curious and keep exploring history.